What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. We are finally able to fix the queue today. If you guys don't know, I've actually had some really like odd cooling issues with my Q50 the past couple of weeks. And I've done things from change all the coolant hoses, changing out the thermostat, doing a leak, buying a whole entire leak pressure kit and all this stuff and nothing's worked. The leak just keeps on getting worse. I continue not being able to find it and it's just in this really weird spot in the engine where the supercharger and the exhaust manifold heat shield is just covering everything. I'm heading to advance right now. I got like a little small advanced list that pretty sure I just left inside. I think I remember everything, but we're gonna go in the Z right now. We're gonna head over there. I also got a few sensors for the Z. Shout out to Z1 Motorsports. They've been helping me along the way, not only with my Q50, but with this Z as well. I've been having some really weird sensor issues. So they sent me out uh, two brand new camshaft sensors and a new crankshaft sensor, like the really good crankshaft sensor, the metal one. I'll probably put it on screen here so you guys can see. Also, they sent me out the rear main seal, which is like a huge deal for me. I've been having like weird smoking coming from the bell housing. And when we replaced my clutch, my rear main seal looked like really oily. So I'm pretty sure it's leaking and it looked like a really bad silicone job. There's like a priority list, you know, like rear main seals like here, sensors are like here and then like water pump for Q50 is like right here. I know it's something small, but this shifter right here is actually one of my favorite shifters that I've ever had. Shift Solutions website offers multiple varieties of different shift knobs for all different kinds of cars. I got their SB version 530 gram shifter and the response feels amazing every time I go to shift into gear. I honestly wanted to get the same exact shifter in the 240 until, well... <laughs> I'll put their link in the description just in case you guys are interested in getting a shift knob like mine. So I know I said I was just going to AutoZone, but I just ended up going everywhere the f else. I ended up buying a table jack from Harbor Freight. I bought the Z, it can't fit in it, so I got the hatch open at the moment, but we'll be at the shop in like three minutes. Jesus, so much for a damn AutoZone trip. I came back with a table jack bunch of coolant and a Wawa sandwich. All right, so let me explain over just in case you guys don't know what's going on. You could do whatever you want. No. I've had a slight coolant leak, honestly, for like the past year in the Q50. It's the big reason behind why I haven't raced the car as much as I've wanted to. I just want to make sure the car is dialed in. I haven't even... I haven't even put it on the dyno ever since I noticed the coolant leak. Just because I don't want to have any head gasket failures, I don't want the car overheating, I don't even want to have to take the engine out. So we're just going to go ahead do our due diligence. We finally have time and space to be able to go ahead and do this water pump. Now this all requires me to take the front timing cover off and to do that I gotta take off the bumper and a cooler, the radiator, the AC condenser, the, the radiator support, headlights, I gotta take off everything. So we're going to start on that right now, we're going to drain all the fluid that we need to. All right, so what, that didn't take nothing but like an hour, hour, 20 minutes, but we did learn that the front end of a Q50 does come off like a 350Z, which is really convenient because now you can literally access every single thing on the front, on the front end of the engine. You can access the timing cover. It's really easy to get to the supercharger and the bracket. It's Nissan's an OG. And guess what? There's no f gasket there. That could be the cause of my leak too. Yes, I am. Hello. Come to figure out, it's the Mishimoto gasket I put on, or the Mishimoto thermostat that I put on. If you look, 
there's no gasket on the thermostat. Absolutely none. It's just bare metal on metal. So that could be also a huge sign of why my filling is leaking, which is kind of embarrassing. So being able to have this front end off just makes everything 100 times easier to be able to work with. I don't know what I would have done trying to get this crank pulley off or trying to get the power steering pump off. Th these things are all like really finicky and hard to get to and I just don't know what I would have done if this were like the if this were like the 240 to where I can't even take the radiator support off. I can with Z's which is awesome and that's why I love working on them and that's why I always advocate people like if you get your first project car make it a Z because it's easy to work on you know they make it easy for you to work on. And the same thing with the Q50 I'm, I'm glad that that's been passed down through on the years at Nissan that just makes things a hell of a lot easier. But we got the whole entire pulley assembly off. We also took off two of the camshaft chain covers. I guess that's what you would call them. I took off the crankshaft. Uh, that was, crankshafts are fun to take off. Just remember, have a decent impact, loosen and tighten, and then always spray on some good PB blaster. I believe the last thing that we gotta do now is actually take the timing cover off and then we should be able to access the timing chain, make our marks on all the pulleys and gears and make sure everything's correct. So I can't believe the whole time I was trying to take off the timing cover I completely forgot the fact that you gotta take off the oil pan to be able to access the two bottom bolts on the timing cover. What a f***ing day. We got just a little spillage. And it's on me. It's on me. I put the pulley back on the crankshaft pulley and twisted it to where I can have the two yellow gears at top and the one orange at the bottom. Now this isn't top dead center, but it is pretty easy to remember by. And once I get some paint pens and mark the gears here and then mark the gear down here, as long as I get that bottom gear and that crankshaft doesn't move at all, which is difficult to move. So I doubt it will just get the chain back to where we marked it. And then we could run it up here without the slack. So this is exactly what I mean. We're gonna mark with a paint pen on the gear to find this notch. And we're gonna use the crankshaft as a guide. So as long as this doesn't move, we should be able to get this orange one matched up with the white. Run this chain all the way up and be able to match this orange one with here. And if we need to turn anything, we'll be able to because all of them should match up. I don't know if you guys see, but I actually got this pin in the tensioner. That way I never lose my place. And that way I'm not fighting with it just to uh, get back to this certain spot. It's a couple of hours of my life. Gonna be spent taking off silicone. 